This is an unprecedented and challenging time for educational institutions. Creating the need for in-class solutions that maximize collaboration and personal safety. It's also a time for hybrid learning solutions that bridge the distance between classroom and home. Here's Julian Fernandez, Program Group Marketing Manager, to talk about both current and future Crestron educational technology solutions that will address these needs. For years, Crestron has been partnering with educational institutions to offer technology solutions that are purpose-built to help teachers meet learning objectives. We are passionate about how people are educated and are committed to providing the tools for the best learning experience. Not only has technology changed dramatically, but how faculty and students expect to use it is evolving quickly around the world. At Crestron, we're committed to providing a flexible range of end-to-end solutions, including hardware and software, which allow faculty to utilize the latest teaching methodologies, which helps students collaborate in active learning spaces or during group work, which enhance faculty-student interaction when they're not in the same place, and which increase student engagement with content sharing, while providing for synchronous instruction for local students and remote learners. And lastly, it can all be managed and monitored to get analytics and metrics about usage. When we take a moment to reflect, we remember just how much instructional technology has changed and how much the AV world has had to adapt. From a technology standpoint, we've come a long way together. From VGA at 640 to 4K video, from a VGA cable to HD-based T-transmission, which is now the standard for sending video, audio, and control over a single cable. From analog audio to digital Dante and AES67 audio, which can be used locally or routed over the network. From direct cable runs to AV over IP, which is capable of sending signals all over the campus on a converged IT network. And to when phones were used as calling and maybe even texting devices, to now when they're your own personal content sharing system. Crestron has partnered with some of the most important institutions of learning around the world to provide the best experience on campus. You might have heard from some of them on our various webinars, seen our customer success stories, or even met with some of our partners on panels at shows or just on our different a partner summits. After this session, be sure to look at some of the examples of how UNLV uses real-time data to eliminate lost class time and improve ROI for their technology enhancements. They needed data-driven decisions, and Crestron software allowed them to do it. Or how the University of Surrey in the UK has used Crestron for one-touch lectures. You can even see how Utah State University has started to use voice control in their classroom to control AV systems and expand accessibility. Check out how a partner university in South America added digital media to its campus activities hub. And if you're into eSports, you can watch how St. John's University used our AV over IP solution, DMNVX, for their program, or read about how Central Connecticut State University selected DMNVX to help them work towards becoming a premier institution for eSports. Drawing from our passion for education, our knowledge of changing technology, and our experience partnering with and listening to educators from around the world, let's review some of the most important trends and issues reflecting today's modern classroom. There are minimum requirements to meet the definition of a modern classroom, and there are ways to enhance the experience to improve effectiveness and retention. Some of the basic needs for today's schools, no matter if they are covering higher education or even K-12, include a backbone for video and audio signal processing, routing, and distribution. This infrastructure is the minimum needed in a modern classroom, which is why we have our Crestron digital media platform. Our DM family, which is built on HD base T technology, works so well when it is used as the cornerstone of designing today's classroom. In fact, our digital media presentation switchers have been used by various institutions like Georgia Southern University, the University of Wisconsin, and even K-12 districts like the Oakland County School District as the standard for their classrooms. Modern classrooms use Crestron digital media to transport and route signals from the room PC, the teacher's laptop, document camera, wireless presentation, or any other source to the projector or display and handle the playback of audio, process a mic input, and navigate those requirements of HDMI signals handshaking and managing those signals so that ensure that content is delivered wherever it needs to in the classroom or even around the entire building. Our DM family has three branches that are designed to fit your needs. There's our original and industry leading digital media, which provides support for 4K60, 444 video, audio, and control. And those of you with older systems can even upgrade them to support the latest formats. We also offer a digital media NVX series for AV over IP, which allows for pixel perfect processing and is the most secure and flexible AV over IP solution available. When your application calls for a basic solution, the DM Lite and DMPS Lite series are right for you. 
Let's take a closer look at this latest addition to the DM family with Alex Paris. Hi, I'm Alex Paris, Manager of Digital Media Product Management. And today, we're going to talk about Crestron's DM Lite and DMPS Lite solutions. Crestron's digital media solutions are about extending HDMI audio and video from one end of the room to another. Using Crestron's DM Lite portfolio, a customer can simply connect the source to a transmitter and extend it over CAT5 to a display with a receiver. Crestron has a number of transmitters and receivers that allow customers to select the right product for the right application. So when these systems are designed, dealers can ensure the system is being installed effectively for the customer's needs. Crestron's DM Lite transmitters come in a number of different form factors for different applications. For instance, say you want to mount a transmitter underneath the conference table. You can use one of our mountable options to have either multiple inputs or a single input underneath the table so you can connect a laptop or multiple laptops. Say there's a podium or a floor box or front of the room need to connect into the room. We have single input and multi-input options as well that mount in standard gang form factors. In addition, we also have an international version which can be used in Europe. Just like Crestron's DM Lite transmitters, our DM Lite receivers can also be mounted with multiple form factors, either behind the display or in a wall. As we step through these applications, we can also now add more features. So our DMPS Lite product line is built with out-of-the-box functionality. So you can connect any DM Lite transmitter directly to this DM Lite receiver, and the DM Lite receiver can auto-switch between the inputs, turn the display on or off, or connect to the entire Crestron ecosystem. As our systems grow larger, we have other options that enable multiple inputs, so multiple DM light inputs, multiple HDMI inputs, as well as analog audio inputs, analog audio outputs with built-in amplification, and even a built-in network switch to allow customers to pick the right product for the right application. These receivers also come with multiple mounting options, so they can be mounted behind the display, above a projector, or in a rack allowing a customer to install them for the right application. The DMPS Lite product line also supports enterprise-grade security, as well as XIO cloud monitoring, so customers can provision and monitor the devices in the cloud. So now let's take the DMPS Lite receiver and a few transmitters to show how to build out a simple room. So let's take a conference room that has a single display and multiple connection points. The customer can select the right transmitter for the application. So if there's a podium in the front of the room, we can mount the transmitter directly into the front of the wall, or select another transmitter to mount underneath the table. Now, if a customer wants to have both a hybrid, wired, and wireless experience, they can simply pair that with an AM200, Crestron's Air Media Solution. With that, the customer can select whether they want to plug their laptop in directly with an HDMI cable or a USB-C converter cable, or present wirelessly in the front of the room. In addition, we can connect a speaker and a microphone directly to the DMPS Lite receiver to provide an extensible audio experience. Lastly, if we want to pair additional control options, we can simply add an occupancy sensor, a touch panel, and a Crestron control system running AV framework to bring the entire solution together with no programming and a full out-of-the-box experience. Effectively, all we need to do is press the correct label on the touch panel to switch to the right source. Customers can also disconnect the laptop from the table and automatically route using the device's auto route feature. In today's environment, a touch-free meeting experience is crucial. By adding the occupancy sensor, you can ensure that the room turns on as soon as someone walks into the room. And then after the meeting is over, the system automatically shuts down. With Crestron's Air Media solution, you can present wirelessly with a tablet, mobile device, or a laptop. To expand on touch-free capabilities, simply add our Crestron Air Media wireless presentation device. This allows us to share content wirelessly with your tablet device, mobile phone, or laptop, allowing you to share content effectively in any meeting room or classroom. From the simplest source to display or multi-source to display, the DM Lite and DMPS Lite product lines have you covered. So what's next for digital media? We continue to expand the DM product portfolio with new models that support the latest video standards. And then for the DM Lite line, we'll also add new models and new features, such as audio insert and extraction, USB-C interfaces with charging and data, as well as models that also enable USB signal extension alongside the audio and video signals. 
These new products will allow schools to have the flexibility in choosing the models that have all the features they need and nothing you don't. So the price and performance are optimized to meet the specific criteria of each project. So the modern classroom has a backbone of Crestron digital media. Another key feature in this modern classroom is wireless presentation. Wireless presentation has taken on a very important role in education. Why should faculty and staff be tethered to the podium or to their desk by a cable? Modern classrooms use air, air media to allow for content sharing from your mobile device. Crestron has been an industry leader in wireless presentation since our release of Air Media in 2013. Almost three years ago, we released Air Media 2.0, which was a huge leap forward in our capabilities around wireless presentation and a complete rethink from the ground up of the hardware and software behind our solution. Our focus has always been on delivering a seamless user experience, so with any device, you can come in and present quickly and easily. We have focused on bringing in native protocols to the Air Media platform, continuously updating it to include AirPlay, as Apple releases new iOS versions, and more recently, we introduced support for Miracast, which provides native sharing for Windows devices. If you just hit Windows K on your laptop, you can be sharing content into an Air Media space in no time. This year, wireless presentation has played a more vital role than ever, given the current challenges in keeping shared spaces safe. Crestron has added support for our PoE occupancy sensors in our Air Media AM200 and 300 devices, which enable you to deliver a zero-touch experience in any room. You walk in, the display turns on, you see the co uh, connection information on the screen and you can present from your own device. As soon as you leave, the room shuts down. It's as easy as it can be. In fact, we are so excited about the simplicity of this experience, we created a special program where you can get this entire solution of an AM200 and a PoE occupancy sensor for under $900. In July, we announced support for two major features. Canvas mode, which allows multiple devices to present on the same screen, and support for wireless access point mode, where guests can present directly to the Air Media device without connecting to your corporate network. Delix Alex, our product manager for Air Media, will walk you through these features in detail. What you can see from this presentation and these new features is just how committed we are to the Air Media platform and adding additional features in the coming months. Let's see how Delix can show off these new features with Air Media. Hey everyone, Delix Alex here senior product manager for Crestron's enterprise applications, here to talk to you about our Air Media 2.0 wireless presentation line. Crestron's Air Media line uh, offers various functionality in different form factors. And today here, we're looking at the AM-300 Air Media wireless presentation system. Air Media enables simple and easy to use wireless presentation from almost any device, iOS, Mac, Android, Chrome OS, and even more. Air Media effectively allows users to collaborate in conference rooms, huddle spaces, classroom environments, and more. With Air Media wireless presentation, a touchless experience into your room is a breeze. Simply walk into the room, open your personal device, and enter the Air Media address and passcode displayed on the screen and immediately you are connected. With Air Media's low latency and smooth, high quality video, users get a wired experience, but on a wireless platform. Air Media also works with your IT department and IT infrastructure to work with it and not against it. Like all Crestron products, Air Media works with the latest and greatest security technologies like AES 802.1X and much more. With Crestron's XIO Cloud, coupled with the Air Media platform, management is a breeze, giving you the ability to control almost any aspect of the system remotely from anywhere in the world. And today we are excited to announce a new feature set in the platform called Air Media Canvas. With Air Media Canvas mode, the platform enables devices of differing aspect ratios, orientations, and resolutions to simultaneously present content on the screen for the optimal viewing experience. So imagine a second user with an iPad comes in to share. Simply swipe, connect, and select my Air Media receiver, and the content is immediately on the screen. As you can notice, my iPad with a portrait orientation is side by side with my Windows device in a landscape orientation, showing you the capability of Air Media Canvas to best fit the content on the screen. With Air Media Canvas, it's not just about two users presenting on the screen. With Air Media Canvas Control, available via a Crestron touch panel interface, 
you can manage several users right from an elegant, easy to use interface. For example, if a teacher wants to moderate a session of students presenting from the Canvas control interface, you can queue up your users so they're presenting and collaborating effectively. All in all, Crestron's Air Media platform gives you the ability to deploy touchless room experiences. So what's next for Air Media? Like we said, we're continuing to expand the features of Air Media on a regular basis. One example will be the ability to manage up to 10 connected users from your personal device, furthering that touchless collaboration. Another update coming this winter will be moderator mode for the Canvas display, which allows you to have a designated moderator for your session, which is especially important in these modern classroom environments, so the professor can choose which of those 10 uh, students or content sources should be on the display. Be sure to keep in touch, because we're working on some really big things for AirMedia next spring. It's too early to share the details, but it'll be big. It'll be something that revolutionizes what Air Media means to Crestron and the industry, so stay tuned. So we have a Crestron DM backbone. We have wireless presentation using Air Media with Canvas functionality. And since your faculty and students will like the convenience of sharing their content from their personal device, the next logical question is, why can't I just control the room from my mobile device? Crestron is moving fast on delivering mobile control from your personal devices. We are releasing Crestron 1 in less than two weeks, which means it's a very short time before you can get this into your hands and try it out for yourself. We had to deliver in this time frame to enable your return to school planning, but we're not stopping there. We'll be continuously adding new features throughout the coming year and delivering a better and better experience on this product. Mark Slavosky is gonna walk us through Crestron Mobile Room Control and dive a little deeper in this video. Hi, I'm Mark Slavosky, Senior Product Manager in the Digital Workplace here at Crestron. I'm here to talk to you about mobile room control from your personal device. When we think about mobile room control from the personal device, there are several key challenges that you're faced with. We think about this as four key hurdles. Number one, AV room controls are often, if not always, on different networks than the corporate or your mobile device network. Crestron is solving this by using Bluetooth in the mobile device and the touchscreen that creates a peer-to-peer -peer connection. Because of how the mobile device communicates directly with the touchscreen, you avoid having the mobile device that we're not expected to be on any other network is specifically a personal mobile device connected to the touchscreen and not on the AV network. Two, user interfaces are generally designed for large in-room touchscreens and not optimized for the mobile phone. Crestron also solves this by providing a mobile-friendly user interface that is data-driven by which the controls that you, the AV or IT administrator, select to appear on the mobile device. Three, if it's not easy for the individual to control the room, no one's going to use it. Crestron solves this. It's as easy as opening the app, connecting to the room, authenticating to the room, and controlling the room. And four, must be a simple solution for the administrator to enable the room control within the corporate environment. Crestrun solves this by not requiring reprogramming of your existing system, no changes to the control system program or the user interface on the touchscreen. This works with 60 series touchscreens and three series and four series control processors. And new firmware is required to have this new capability. That's the only thing that you need to update. We've also designed for scalability. Setting up one room is as easy as setting up 10, 50, or 100 rooms. You can use the same configuration file across all of the rooms, so long as the configuration file has the same type of controls for room to room. I mentioned that the solution needs to be easy for the individual, and it's just that simple. Think about this as a one, two, three step to controlling your room from your personal mobile device. Connect, authenticate, control. Step one, connect. Our application automatically discovers nearby rooms and connects them via Bluetooth. Other than downloading the app, you only need to have Bluetooth turned on. We're all used to complex and convoluted Bluetooth pairing procedures. Not here, not with Crestron. Our application automatically pairs transparently and seamlessly with the Crestron 60 series touchscreens. Step two, Authenticate. After connecting to the room from step one, the touchscreen displays the challenge code. 
You can scan that or enter the code directly in the app to prove that you're actually present within the room. The code is dynamic and changes every time someone connects to the touchscreen. Step three, control. You've completed the authentication process. You're automatically brought into the mobile application, and now you can control the room from your mobile device. Connect, authenticate, control. It's that easy. Here we have the user interface on the touchscreen. Let's quickly go through it so we can get a little bit familiar with it. We have a couple buttons, HDMI, Air Media. We can tap into lights so that we can see that we have a couple light buttons, shades, and we can come back. Just wanted to familiarize yourself with it in terms of what is on the interface. So let's see this in action. I walk into the room and I open the application. We have the mobile application on the phone. I tap it and launch it. As you can see, I have a section that's called Discovered Rooms. This now shows all the rooms that I'm now able to connect to. In this case, I have two rooms. The room I'm currently in, which is room 1060, and there's another room that's adjacent to me that also has this mobile room control service, room 1072. Since I see rooms listed here, I know that Bluetooth is turned on. Otherwise, I would not see any rooms listed here, and the app would instruct me that there are no rooms to be discovered. Tapping into room 1060 will bring me into the authentication challenge. Right now, there's no authentication code on the touchscreen. When I tap into 1060, the authentication codes will appear on the touchscreen. All I have to do is scan the QR code and I'm authenticated. Now that we've authenticated, we're directly in the room for control. I can press any of the buttons that are here and notice that the shades is not in the mobile device application because that was chosen not to be in here by the administrator. If I tap HDMI, we get the HDMI interface on the mobile as well as the touchscreen. If I go into lights, now I can start to control the lights. And then I can come right back to the room main page. I can exit out of the room and I'm back to my discovered rooms. So now let's say you needed to go get a coffee or a tea. I walk away, I come back, I wanna start controlling the room again. I simply tap back into room 1060 and I'm automatically back in the room. I didn't have to authenticate again because you can have this set up with a timer that allows you to come back to the room within a short period of time without having to re-authenticate. The mobile room control app is yet another window to control the room. There you have it. As simple as one, connect, two, authenticate, and three, control. Your Crestron smart room just got smarter with mobile device room control. So what's next with Crestron One? In the next three months, we're gonna enable remote presentation through Air Media, as well as the ability to remotely book meetings through any of our scheduling touchscreens, all without a touch and via the Crestron One app. Additionally, we'll be releasing the ability to fully customize the app experience so you can go beyond the standard and create an experience that's tailored to your campus. Of course, we'll continue to grow our platforms beyond just iOS and deliver an Android app, other web apps to cover desktop, or laptop users. We are going to deliver this experience across all personal device types so that you can leverage Crestron control no matter what the future brings. Now, we are starting to see all the elements of this modern classroom come together. You have a standards-based DM family as your backbone. Faculty and students can simply and easily share content wirelessly with Air Media, and you can choose whether that room is controlled via a touchscreen or your mobile device. Now, what about UC in the modern classroom? How can educational institutions deal with the ongoing trend of adding UC to learning spaces and adding equity between local students and remote learners? The modern classroom achieves this using Crestron Flex. At Crestron, we've been watching this trend of online learning programs very closely. Many schools have been adding capabilities for students to have virtual experiences, and our Flex series is an amazing solution which can support a Zoom platform, Microsoft Teams, or any other UC-based software to create a synchronous learning environment for your remote students. From the Tabletop Flex M series to the installed configuration, the C series, and the rapid deployment R series system, Flex offers a variety of ways to bring UC to your campus no matter what scenario you require. For instance, Johns Hopkins University chose Crestron Flex R series to provide a mobile UC solution for their different spaces. 
Some of you that might have attended our a Technology Partner Summit heard all about how USC is using Crestron Flex to enhance distance learning. There are institutions that are choosing to mount the Crestron Flex MX units into their lecterns. The MX have built-in mic and AEC to allow the instructor to speak in a normal voice. They then add the camera showing the front of the classroom and the whiteboard, which is transmitted into the MX system to be shared via Teams or Zoom. We have some terrific resources for hybrid learning spaces and mobile solutions listed on our education market page on Crestron.com. These include some application diagrams for adding Zoom capabilities to a new space or an existing classroom. If you want to learn more, please reach out to your Crestron uh, partner manager who will be able to help you add some of these distance learning solutions to your classroom. So we have all the required elements for the modern classroom. Your teaching spaces have a scalable backbone ready for whatever your instructors need with our DM family. Wireless presentation with Air Media allows for sharing, collaboration, and better engagement, and UC and remote learning can happen easily with Crestron Flex. Finally, the modern classroom with all its elements. Wait a minute. These are not simply parts or disparate black boxes. They need to work together, and your AV and IT teams need to manage it all. How do you manage a whole campus or K-12 district with modern classrooms and all of this technology in them? Being an AV technology director or manager is not an easy job. The number of classroom and teaching spaces is increasing at an ever-accelerating pace, and your headcount isn't keeping up. And it's not just teaching and classroom spaces, but other spaces are getting added under this umbrella. We need a system that allows us to manage the modern campus and classroom. Exile Cloud is an IoT-based device management and monitoring platform. A core part of it is being, in being a cloud-based system is that it can let you monitor and manage your AV technology from anywhere. This is particularly important right now as we return to campus beginning of the semester when everyone is finishing summer installs, classes are getting underway, and support calls will see their predictable peaks. Whether you need to configure and provision devices scheduled to be installed, get data and analytics needed to make informed decisions, change settings once to a device and update other devices immediately, provide remote control and support assistance to faculty or instructors in the room, or even make sure everything is fine by viewing the live status of devices all over campus. Now we'll be joined by Brian Donlin, who's going to walk us through some of these features of XIO Cloud and how they can help you on campus. XIO Cloud is a cloud-based device management and monitoring platform. A core part of it, in being a cloud-based system, is that it can let you monitor, manage, and support your AV technology from anywhere. This is particularly important right now as we return to the office in the era of COVID-19, when support functions that may have previously been done in person need to be done remotely. It's no secret that the Healthy IQ camera included with Crestron Flex Systems is a great camera. One of the best things about it is that, beyond just great optics, it includes a built-in AI engine for doing advanced analytics of the space. The first way we are taking advantage of this is through people counting allowing you to know how many people are in the space without any additional hardware. Because the processing is all done directly on the camera without sending the images outside the room and is not based on recognizing individual faces, it's a privacy safe way for getting more information about how your rooms are used. When a Flex system is claimed into XIO Cloud with a Hudley camera attached to it, details about the camera can be found on the status tab for the UC Engine component of the system. As you can see here, one of those details is the count of people in the room. This will update once every minute, allowing you to check how many people are in the room at any time. Of course, we want to be able to do something with that data instead of just look at it. To start, we can enter a maximum capacity for the room. This way we'll know if the room is within its capacity, whether that is a standard capacity or reduced capacity to support socially distanced meeting. To enter the capacity, we'll go to this device metadata tab. Especially right now, we're going to want to know when a room is exceeding its capacity so that we can do something about it. We can navigate to the Alerts Configuration page on XAO Cloud and add an alert if a room exceeds its capacity. This way we'll get a text message or email when there are too many people in the room. And I've received an alert telling me that too many people are in the space. Now I can go and make sure that some of the people in the room go someplace else in order to keep everybody safe. Of course, there's more to monitoring an entire AV estate than just responding to immediate needs. It's important to understand adherence to capacity rules for all rooms especially as you adjust messaging to encourage compliance. XIO Cloud gathers the people counting information to present in the form of interactive dashboards, showing you capacity adherence rates across rooms, as well as how that adherence changes over time. You can filter the dashboard to concentrate on particular rooms, dates, or hours during the day. As you can see, with this feature, you can leverage the investments you have already made in workplace technology to make your meetings safer. Sometimes, you just need to help out the people in the room. Maybe they're trying to start a Teams call and are not comfortable with the interface, Maybe they're just not quite sure how to use the custom UI on the touchscreen to get their laptop onto the display in the room. Or maybe there actually is a problem in the room that needs to be diagnosed by seeing it. Of course, when somebody's in the middle of a meeting, rushing over to where they are is going to waste precious meeting time. 
Plus, we want to limit the number of people in contact with each other anyway. For that, XIO Cloud supports full remote control of touchscreens, including the TSW 560, 760, 1060, TSS7, and TSS10, and Mercury. With this service, you can view exactly what is on the screen in the room. This could be anything on the screen, custom code, the built-in scheduling functionality, or third-party applications like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or one of our scheduling partners. Beyond just seeing what's on the screen, you can actually take control of the screen, just like if you're in the room tapping on it yourself. It really is just like a virtual touch on the touch screen. The screen in the room will respond as you use it. We've also made it easier to try out XIO Cloud for yourself. There's now a free 30-day trial of 10 rooms available to anybody. Simply navigate to crestron.com, find the free 30-day trial form, and enter a few pieces of information, literally six fields, and you'll be ready to start using XIO Cloud. As soon as you click register, you'll receive an email with your username and a one-time use password. And there you are, ready to use XIO Cloud right away. So what's next with XIO Cloud? Well, the biggest change is actually happening right now. We've updated our pricing so that XIO Cloud is now purchased just like you manage your systems, by room. You can add room-based services for XIO Cloud for endpoint management, uh, API access, support, as well as analytics, which is available as a beta version at launch, so that you can gain a better understanding and better management system for your rooms, all at an affordable economical price, just like you manage your systems. We're continuously adding updates to XIO Cloud, and there's also going to be some great new features coming in the next six months. The biggest change in XIO Cloud is going to be its expansion beyond just Crestron devices to manage all of your room technology. We'll enable monitoring starting from the most basic level, pinging devices, SNMP, device drivers, and then next month we're going to announce a major partnership that will directly embed XIO Cloud monitoring into a key room component. We are going to do this in a very easy and scalable way. And not only will you be able to monitor this broad range of devices, you'll also be able to control them remotely with XIO Cloud. We'll also be building in the hooks for XIO Cloud to access your broader IT ecosystem and bridge the gap between the large variety of AV gear and everything you need to accomplish around the school district or campus. To that end, we'll be building seamless integration into your help desk with ServiceNow integration, and we'll also be significantly expanding our API and dashboard capabilities. All these new features combine to make XIO Cloud the IoT platform to deploy, manage, monitor, and evolve your modern classrooms into a complete modern campus. If you'd like to learn more about XIO Cloud, please be sure to check out our sessions at Crestron Next. For now, let's head into the breakout rooms to give you a chance to ask questions, hear from each other, and continue on, on the topic of the modern classroom.